The train is going electric, and now we're learning how Bay Area lawmakers managed to secure that federal money for the project. KPNX 5 uh, political reporter Melissa Kane on the wheeling and dealing that paid off. Build, build, build. Building a better Caltrain and creating jobs. Congresswoman Pelosi was one of many happy politicians today at the groundbreaking ceremony for the new Caltrain electrification project. It gets rid of diesel engines and promises fancy new train cars that can hold more people. But the project almost didn't happen. To even start working on the upgrades, the Trump administration had to give the Bay Area nearly $650 million. And people were nervous. He didn't have to say yes. Here's Governor Jerry Brown. Our congressional delegation who, who through some magic, Push this through the uh, Trump administration. I don't know how. About two months ago, Democrats had to help Republicans pass a budget. Congresswoman Nancy Pelosi agreed to round up the votes, but in return, she demanded the $647 million for Caltrain. They didn't have the votes to pass the bill on their own, so we had this as one of our requirements in order to give them our votes to pass the bill. Once the money was available, the Secretary of Transportation, Elaine Chao, still had to decide whether to give Caltrain the grant. And there was serious opposition. Here's Congresswoman Jackie Speer. So our U.S. Senators, uh, both Dianne Feinstein and Kamala Harris, um, did what they do best, cajole, call, Elaine Chao, and then start holding back on uh, deputy administrator positions. The rumor I heard was that some of those appointments that have to be confirmed by the Senate were conveniently put on hold to make the point. And sometimes, you know, you got to flex a little muscle to get things done. She says California Democrats in the House also did their part. For example, California Republican Congressman Kevin McCarthy is a vocal opponent of the Caltrain project, but he also wants to name a post office in his district after Merle Haggard. Um, on the House side, um, the leader wanted to get a post office named after someone and he needs the signatures of all the members of the California delegation and so I had a I had a hand cramp I could not sign that and I told him you know I'd be happy to at some point and I'm happy to now and we did our job in the house and uh, made it clear that you know you stay in your own district now even though the project kicked off today. Those electric trains won't be running until 2021. According to Caltrain Board Chairman Jeff G, the first thing people will see is tree removal and limited weekend service. So be on the lookout for that. All right, Melissa, thank you. And we may be talking more about Caltrain funding during next year's elections. State Senator Jerry Hill wants to put a one-eighth cent sales tax on the ballot in San Francisco, San Mateo, and Santa Clara counties. The money would be used to fund Caltrain operations. This train system is the only one in the country that, uh, an only transit system that does not have dedicated funding. All this hype, all this celebration today is meaningless at the end of the day if we don't have the money to fund the operations of the train. Hill wants to put the issue before voters in either June or November of 2018, but first, the legislature and the governor must approve it.